love is something that you do. Mark 16, 15 says, Jesus said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Those babies just they got me. <laughs> you know, we was talking about a sacrifice while we Man, after you get up here, it's a what sacrifice? That's a sacrifice. Look at them. You might ask me, Bobby, why are you in Haiti? How, what, what, how, do you, how do you do the sacrifice? I always say, it's not a sacrifice. It's a joy to say yes to Jesus and help the Haitian people. We are bringing Jesus and the mobile clinic to these people. We're touching them, we're loving them, we're showing them God's love, no matter if they're Christians or voodoo people or who they are. Everybody gets treated wonderfully and everybody gets treated the same. I came up here today at this clinic on top of this mountain. I've been watching them sleep in their tent, taking their humble little sponge baths to keep going and seeing what they go through, working 18 hours a day tirelessly to reach the Haitian people. I can honestly say I have never seen somebody work harder in my life than Sherry Burnett. Here we are in Papery on top of the mountain in the middle of nowhere. Oh, well, people have there. Well, there's no help up here whatsoever, no medical clinic. But you know, thank you, David George, for giving us the money and your partners for building the church here. And we have a school here, and Jesus is a light. Well, we're here, we got here, we came here today to set up, and tomorrow I'm gonna be setting up our outside mobile clinic, and tomorrow the people are supposed to start coming for the Mobile Clinic. Well, we just got here, and there's hundreds of people here already, and we don't start till tomorrow. It shows you the desperation of the people who needs medical care, and we'll, we'll share Christ with them. We'll give every one of them a Joyce Meyer booklet and their, and their language and so, and so much more. Love is something you do. So glad to be here today on the behalf of Love a Child, the team working together, and uh, prayer has gone up for little Bertha, and the first uh, measure of care from the doctors who have cleansed this burn, this very severe burn. Uh, she will get care in the next couple days. Um, the doctors are going to be right on top of this. We're in a high mountain area, about 4,000 feet up. People have come from the mountains everywhere out of just, I can't even count how many were here in the church and uh, uh, lined up all around. But among them was this little tiny girl, Bertha, two years old. And uh, we said that the miracle is that she's quiet right now. And she has this very severe burn. I see that as the presence of Jesus that only the Lord could do that for her. Can you imagine the pain, the pain of this very severe burn, but the sweetness of her father to bring her and the sweetness of the viewer to care and to send something to care, to respond to the love of Jesus, to respond to the call of God. 
Uh, it takes someone to send someone. And these who are here today were sent by people like you. And we just pray that you would continue because you'll save little lives like this. Birth is life, we believe, will be saved because Love a Child was here today. And we give God all the glory. Thank you very much. Can you imagine, like six days ago, this happened? And then with all the problems that we have, even had to build a road. Can you imagine we're here trying to take care of this baby? What a miracle. Without the help of people who helped make made this clinic possible, and all these people coming, coming in the middle of the night, coming at 1.30 in the morning, these people line up here with the little children, so patient. They will stay hours and hours a day in line. They won't complain. Some have to stay overnight. There's so many people to get help tomorrow. But please, before Sherry comes, here's how you can help. It takes about a dollar a person to sponsor a clinic. It takes a thousand dollars to sponsor a clinic. So if you send in $25, you can help sponsor 25 people. If you send in $50, you can help sponsor 50 people. $100, you can help sponsor 100 people. $1,000, you can help sponsor 1,000 people. Please help. I cannot tell you the needs of these people. Of course, we also share Christ with them. And today, the all these folks will also be fed a hot meal. But please help. Sherry, I know this is dear to your heart. Yes. This is dear to your heart for years. Yes, you know, uh, I'm not a nurse or anything, but I've just always had such a burden for medical care in the poor. And since we moved to Haiti, I could see people who suffered because they couldn't have the money. They did not have the money to go to a doctor or pay for medicine or anything. And then I began to realize that the regions beyond is what called, God called us to go to, the regions beyond, like Apostle Paul said. And this is the regions beyond. We are up in the mountains. It's cold at night. We had a hard time getting up here. It took a lot of trips to get the medicine up here. <laughs> We've got a little baby in the back. Come here, baby. We had a lot of trips to get the medicine up here and bring our Haitian doctors. But we felt like it was the will of God. And we had a baby that was burned so bad that the doctors worked for hours to clean her up and save her life. And then we have a woman who came with breast cancer. We've had a lot of very serious oh, things serious, that happened. Serious. But just think, if you are a widow, you have a little bit of money, God will bless your little bit. If you can give more, if you can give $50, $100, uh, sponsor a clinic with a gift of $1,000 or even more, God will bless you because we're reaching souls here. We're getting the gospel to them and we're saving lives and we cannot do it without your help. Let me say one more thing. God has raised you up to help Bobby and I to do what we are doing here in Haiti and that is why you're watching this program today. Hi, my name is Jessica. I've been with Love a Child here since September. I'm a missionary um, full time. Um, been preparing for this uh, mobile clinic for about two months now. Was not prepared for uh, what it entailed, but was truly excited to be here and hopefully fulfilling a need for the people. Um, we love doing what we do here. You now I'm blown away by the amount of people that are here. I was told that they started about three or four o'clock this morning. All the people walked to get here. Um, and in, in the States, we complain because we have to wait 15 minutes for a doctor's appointment. And these people have been sitting here all day. And when we showed up, they were singing and praising God for a chance to even be able to see somebody today. And was not complaining because they've been here since three or four o'clock this morning. I've been blessed in my life. Um, there has been things that I know that God has brought me out of, and I just wanted to be able to give back. I think that as Christians, um, we either have to be the ones to give, either financially, or we have to be the ones to come and give. God's been a blessing, um, just being able to be here and see the people uh, being blessed. Um, honestly, don't even feel like we're doing enough. Oh, there's definitely a need here. I mean, if you're not able to come yourself, which if you are, it's, it, it, 
you will be blessed more than you could ever think about and it's something you would never forget. But if you're not able to, to come, then if it's within your heart, you can give. Um, and I can promise you that what you give is given to the people around you. Um, everything is accounted for here. My name is Joel Trimble. I've been a missionary evangelist preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ in the nation of Haiti, living here since September of 1975. I have seen every type of ministry from A to Z come to Haiti in the 45 years that I've lived here. In my personal testimony, what I have witnessed, the greatest mission of all, bringing the whole gospel of Jesus Christ to the Haitian people, is Bobby Sherry Burnett at Love a Child. I came up here today at this clinic on top of this mountain. I've been watching them sleep in their tent, taking their humble little sponge baths to keep going and seeing what they go through, working 18 hours a day tirelessly to reach the Haitian people. I can honestly say I have never seen somebody work harder in my life than Sherry Burnett. It's just God. And here's the ambulance, thank God. Okay, mommy. There's the ambulance. It's going to take this little boy away right now. And myself personally, as an evangelist, I preach the gospel. I preach the word of God. But when I see what Bobby and Sherry are doing, they're not only preaching the word of God, and they're bringing Jesus, the great physician, to the Haitian people. I stood this morning since 4.30, 5 o'clock this morning, watching the people come up the mountain in the dark with little flashlights, coming on motorcycles in the dark on treacherous roads. I saw an old man that could hardly walk, walking for miles, hobbling down the road, this rocky road that many people would just, normal people would just fall down. He did everything he could just to get himself here so he could get treatment. Bobby and Sherry Burnett exemplify the real Christian, the real missionary. And myself personally, I would do anything to help them that I could. And you that have already supported them, you that are praying about supporting them, I want you to know not only does 100% of the money that you give to this mission go to what they say it's going to, but it goes farther because they take little and they make it much. They take a little bit in their hands, just like the loaves and the fishes, little is enough in the hands of Christ. They take that little bit of bread and that little, those little fishes and they make it feed the entire nation of Haiti. We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, that this child is healed. Use the physicians and you as the great physician. Touch his life. Lord, we just ask for healing to flow in the name of Jesus. We thank you as we pray in faith. The folks that are watching, you're watching right now, you pray right now. Pray in the name of Jesus and ask God to touch this child. What a blessing. Father God, thank you for this opportunity. We pray this hand gets better and this little boy grows up and raises his hand and yes. gives praise to you in the name of Jesus. Will you hear the cry of the poor now and allow your heart to be touched? Remember, $50 sponsors 50 children to visit the clinic, $100 sponsors 100 children, and $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. You may also supply a complete family pack of medication that these poor families can take home for only $20. Please call the number on your screen now or write today and say, I want to help the hurting children of Haiti. This is a very serious condition right here for this baby. Make Kilaj Lee, you know? Kilaj baby. She's 13 months old. Yeah. Wow. The doctor just said this is a big chance because this baby can easily die here. Dr. Bartolome is with us right now. 
and also Julon, who is one of the children from our Love a Child Children's Home. She's a registered nurse now. And Dr. Bartholomew grew up in the first school we ever built in Haiti, and now he's our head doctor. So you saw him yesterday, but today she's worse. So he saw this baby yesterday, but today the baby is worse, and the baby is very lethargic. So the baby needs fluid. Fluid. She's anemia, severe anemia. And so, and then she's dehydrated a lot, a lot, a lot. If we cannot get her better today, we'll have to send her to the children's hospital. But just think, thank God that we saw her yesterday and today because maybe the mother would not even know to bring her to a doctor, you know? Maybe thinks that she's just tired all the time. They don't understand. This is a very serious condition right here for this baby. Mais qui l'âge lui? You know? Qui l'âge baby? Therese. Therese? She's 13 months old. And the mom lives very far in the mountains. And so we're thankful for the doctors. We're thankful that we're here. And we're thankful that you sent us here. We're going to let the doctors work on her right now. Um, to be a nurse, since I, was, since I was a kid, my mom, Shelby Bennett, she, um, she, used to go, she, she used to go to the mobile clinic with me when I was a kid. Everywhere. After I say, wow, I, I would like to be a nurse. And then, I just happy, I just happy the way she took care, she took care of the people, the way, the way she, she talked to the patient, and I just, and then I said, wow, I would like to be a nurse, and I would like to do, to do that like Sherry did it, like my mom did it. You know, it's just so wonderful that when we have children grow up in our orphanage, in our Love a Child orphanage, and we've had them since they were children or babies, that they grow up and now they're serving their country. And this is Julon, now she's a young lady, and she's a registered nurse, and now she's working at the Jesus Healing Center, and you see her at the mobile clinic, and now she's saving lives. Just think of what all becomes of, of just some little step, some little small thing that we do, and God turns it into a big thing. And we're so proud of all of our children, and we're so proud of you all for helping us. Thank you. Will you hear the cry of the poor now and allow your heart to be touched? Remember, $50 sponsors 50 children to visit the clinic. $100 sponsors 100 children. And $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. You may also supply a complete family pack of medication that these poor families can take home for only $20. Please call the number on your screen now or write today and say, I want to help the hurting children of Haiti. We're here in Paypuri, and I, you know, I've been traveling now for over 50 years, been in 42 countries, but Haiti is the roughest country that I've ever been involved in in ministry. And working here for the last 10 years with Love a Child and Bobby and Sherry, you know, we came up here to Paypuri. It's one of the hardest, roughest drives that I have ever endured in my life. It's a real sacrifice just to drive up here. Then we set up tents and we sleep on cots and uh, it, it, it's not easy. But when you get here and you see these people just standing here in the hot sun for hours to get medical attention and to, just to feel like somebody loves them enough to make the sacrifice to come up here. And I tell you, it is a sacrifice, but when we see these people standing here and then you see a smile come across many of their faces when they get help, when they are being touched and ministered to by doctors and nurses that really care about them. And then you see them get medicine, just free medicine that's been given to them. And it's an honor to be connected to a ministry that loves people and then to see what takes place in their lives when we are able to minister to them, it absolutely cancels the sacrifice that we make to get here. Praise God for Love a Child and Bobby and Sherry and we're just honored to be connected to them. You know what I mean? I'm in Saba, our, our pharmacy here, when the people see the doctors, they get treated. 
and then the doctor says what kind of medicine they need, they come back, get their medicines, and then they go by, and, uh, and then we pray for them, of course, and, and then they go by, and, and we get some food, hot meals they eat, then they go home. At the end of every mobile clinic, including this one, we're always two or three hundred families or, or mothers, two or three hundred mothers that we can't see because we have an overflow of hundreds and hundreds of people come for medical help. They're desperate. The two or three hundred mothers that's left over, that's walked great distances, carrying their children in their arms, we get together and we, we give them this family pack. We call it a family pack. Twenty dollars will supply all this. So. Please pray, please call the toll free number right now and say, I want to buy one family pack sponsor or sponsor five family packs. Or you may go and give online right now for a family pack or send your money through the mail for a family pack or more than one family pack. So let God use you. I know the Lord dealing with you, the spirit of the Lord. Bless someone and God will bless you today here in Haiti. God bless. Merci à tout le médicament de jeunes. Oui. In the name of all our doctors and the people in Haiti, so we want to say a big thank you to um, Cherry Burnett and Bobby Burnett and all the sponsors of Love and Child. Thank you so much. Here we are in Pay Peri, Haiti, on the top of the mountain in the middle of nowhere, having a mobile clinic with people. Who, ha who has never, some, has never had any medicine in their life. But I just want to take a moment here. Thank you for your support, for our friends in the United States. Thank you. I want to thank you for all of our friends in Australia, for our friends in the UK, and those in England. I want to thank our friends, those in Spain. We got letters from Spain. We got help from Greece and also New Zealand and Switzerland and Africa, Central America, South America, and even Russia and, and other countries. But it, it just wants to say, it thrills me. And I, they tell me we got letters and they, we got an offering in the day, a gift in the day from a certain country outside of America. It just thrills my heart and Sherry's heart. I want to say a special thank you. And don't forget, we always send you our free book, our latest book, Faith, Hope, and Love, a 90-day devotional, a 90-day walk with God, a tremendous devotional. Every other page, a full-color picture, beautiful picture here in Haiti. As I give to you, thank you from all of our friends in the other countries. You're very special to us. So we were just talking to the mom just a few moments ago and they said when she first got burned, what did she put on it? And she said mud. I knew she had put dirt on it because when I looked at it, I said to myself, I know she's packed dirt on it because there's no medicine, there's no doctor, and she probably felt that mud would cool the burn or do something to it. So what it did was it almost made it so infected that this baby could have died Oh, it was so close. So the doctor then had to, re had to remove all the mud, all the burned tissue, which made it so much worse. And this is this is a horrible tragedy, but it's going to have a good end, you know. But uh, the doctor told me in one week, he said, I don't even need to send her to the hospital. I know what I'm doing. In one week, she's going to be so much better. She'll always have the scar. But at least it'll remember, remind her when she gets older that God did a miracle for her in the middle of nowhere.
Mais je ne sais pas si je suis là, je ne sais pas si je suis là. Je ne pas si je suis là. Je ne sais pas si je suis Je ne sais pas si je suis là. Je ne sais pas si je suis là. Je ne Je la boutte est passée là. Qui ça La boutte. La boutte. Qui est-ce que tu veux te faire ça Je te passe là. Je me suis fait Je me suis dit espoir. Je me suis dit espoir. Je me suis dit espoir. C'est ok, c'est ok, c'est ok, bon docteur, docteur, ça va être bon. Mais qu'on est qui ça va être bon, on est libre, on est libre, on est libre, on est They're treating the little baby right now, but for $25, you could sponsor 25 children to come to the clinic. One dollar a person, 50, 75, whatever. Whatever God lays upon your heart. Or sponsor a thousand people for a thousand dollars. But I just pray that you'll do something today because we are here with hands on. We're seeing the worst cases you can imagine, but we're saving lives one life at a time. And yes. please be the Good Samaritan from your home. You don't have to come to Haiti to be the Good Samaritan. <laughs> It's me so bad. But you don't have to see the Good Samaritan to come to Haiti. You can be it from your home. Please let the Spirit of God touch you because this it, we are right out here doing hands-on work and it's just really hard sometimes. So please just let the Lord touch your heart. Please give now. Please give $25 to 25 people to come or $50 to 50 people, $100 to sponsor 100 people, $1,000 to sponsor a clinic or sponsor a family pack for $20 or more. Please help. Please call Thank on you the, so much. Give it on your credit card or call and give online on your computer or give by the mail. God bless you. Thank you.